everybody, welcome back to Cherie Voyage. Today I'm gonna go ahead and go over with you guys some new products by Gucci. As always, each video that I do works in three sections. The first is swatches so that you guys can just see what the product looks like right away. The second is information or slash review to let you guys know what I thought about the product and would I buy it again. And third is the tutorial. So the tutorial will let you guys replicate this look or just allow you guys to see how the actual texture and the formulations lay down on the skin. All right, let's go ahead and jump right into the swatches. Let's do it. swatches. So let's do a little bit of information on the product and then I'll give you guys my thoughts of whether or not I would buy it again. So this is a beautifully buildable and bold mascara. It has a creamy texture to it. It's meant to have a flexible tip so that you can go ahead and get at the lace of the, the base of the lashes and build up the actual volume and the length of the actual lashes on your eyes and give that very clean, wispy look. My favorite thing about this is that you get a very, very buildable mascara. So it doesn't dry. I'm curious to see if it will go ahead and transfer down below. Not sure yet, but I love that I can just keep layering and layering this mascara onto my lashes. So it's meant to be 12 hour hold. It is not waterproof, but it is meant to last all day long. It is extra black. It gives a very sleek, clean finish, and it has a very um, high gloss, like lasting texture to the actual mascara. So when it comes to my pros and cons to this mascara, it's definitely more of a pro than a con. I actually like this mascara a lot more than I thought I would. Obviously, the design is incredibly, incredibly beautiful. It's a very Art Deco style uh, mascara. It's a very modern, very luxe look to it. So it'll be beautiful to just even lay out to have something visually beautiful. It's got a little jewelry like quality to it. So the pro for me is obviously it's a beautiful design. It's a great formula. I love that it's buildable. I love that the actual tip of the mascara has that great 
wiggly quality to it. Um, so it allows you to really get at the base of your lash line and build and build and build. I love that it's got that sleek black finish to it and that it will give a very glossed lash look and it's very hydrating. I like that it doesn't dry out. It's got a creamy finish to it. The only concern I have are slash con is that I'm concerned that after a couple hours it will transfer because it's not on the drier side. It's definitely more on the creamy side. It will, I'm worried that it might just transfer a little bit down here at the end of the day. So I will let you guys know in another video of what I thought about it after I wear it for a couple days, but this is a total hit for me. So next we're going to go ahead and talk about the multi-use gloss. Now this is meant to create a beautiful, glowing, transparent, glossy texture to anywhere on the face. So this is great for lids, which I have here. I didn't put any on this side, but I have it on all on this side. So it's meant for your lids, your cheek, uh, lips. You can do it on the bow of the upper lip. You can do it on your nose. To me, this is going to be beautiful for that glass skin that is very in right now, making your skin look like this part all over. Like you literally just are wet or have a glass like finish or texture to the skin. So this is actually a multi-use gloss for the face. Now, the pro about this for me is that it's light in texture. So a lot of these ones that I have been getting, whether that be Natasha Denona or Chanel, are really beautiful, but they feel a bit heavy. This is very, very light. And I love that it doesn't feel like it's weighing my lid down as I blink. Sometimes I feel I've tried these multi-use glosses before. They've been out for years and usually they're really heavy. So they're a bit tacky and you can feel it, especially on your eyelid as you blink up and down the lid will kind of like stick a bit. And this feels very light. It's not moving around. Um, that said, I haven't worn it all day. So once again, like the mascara, I will let you know, but okay, let's head into the lipsticks. So I got two satin and I got one lip balm and I'm going to go through each one with you guys. So I wanted to try a red because to me, that's just a classic and then a nude, which it goes good if you're doing a smoky eye or any kind of like, you know, reverse bold eye with a neutral lip or neutral eye with a bold lip. And then I got a lip balm. So I did get three. I always like to try one light, one dark or classic, and then one that is more of a tint to get an idea of the range that a collection kind of comes out with and how the formulations work with that actual product line. So here are the lipstick cases. They are stunning. They are designed by Alessandro Michel, and it was designed to look like the Art Deco time period. So I don't know if you guys can see this, but there is etching all the way around and Gucci on the lid. The actual weight is very nice. And these are just as far as visual design stunning. You literally feel like you are in a flapper movie. You are just, this is a Fitzgerald style lipstick. It is so gorgeous. It is very, very well done. As far as even the gold that they used is a true gold. It doesn't have that super artificial look to it. It's just beautiful. And you just, when you pull it out to use them, you feel so glamorous. So the designer Alessandro Michel did a great job designing these lipsticks. The uh, other one I'll show you real quick is in this gorgeous turquoise powdery blue color. It reminds me of Tiffany blue. It's got the gold Gucci on top and then the lines etched into the base of the case on the lip balms. All right, let's go ahead and get into the actual color formulations. These are meant to be a creamy, intense, long-lasting finish lipstick. It is definitely more on the hydrating side. I'm curious to see how they're going to stay around the edges of my mouth. So far, so good. It's been a little over an hour, and I am happy with it so far. And this is also with a multi-use gloss on top. It hasn't transferred around the mouth, which I love. So I kept them on my hands here, and this is the goldy red color. It has Gucci embossed right here on the actual bullet, and these are just so, so stunning. Um, if you're looking for a beautifully designed outside as well as the inside package and formulation, you can't miss 
that said, I will say that these are more loved by me than mine Hermes ones. The Hermes are $67 and these are $42. So I saved $25 by getting these compared to the Hermes. I like the Hermes, but after these, I was in love with the Hermes lipsticks and they're, they're good. But now I found something just as good and designed just as beautifully for $25 less each lipstick. If you want a beautiful lipstick and you still want to stay in the luxe lipstick range, then I definitely think that you guys will love these Gucci lipsticks. So the red, as you can see, is just a beautiful classic red. I'm So um, the red is stunning. If you want a true classic red, you can't go wrong with goldy red. And to me, this next color, finally, finally, 20 five years this year, I found a nude. I found an actual real nude lipstick, you guys, that really works. <sighs> Let me check the name on this again. I always forget. Okay. This is called Margaret Candle Flame. This is the most beautiful nude ever. It's going to go good on every single skin tone because it's a true nude and not just the color because it's easy to find beautiful nudes but the texture without it looking chalky and dry or settling into your lips or being too moist and then it looking more like a lip balm nude this is stunning best nude ever hands down it is the best nude i have ever used in 25 years as a makeup artist it is that good so i never Gucci, please never stop making Margaret Candle Flame nude lipstick. What a name, right? Margaret Candle Flame. I wonder why they chose that name. Might have to do some research. <laughs> All right, let's head into the lip balm. Here is Penelope Plum. And you know what I love about Penelope Plum is that she is just so pretty. Her case is gorgeous. How romantic is this beautiful Tiffany blue Beautiful formulation, beautiful, like the texture, the feel, the hydration, the color payoff are so stunning on these. This is going to be the one that you just throw in your bag for work, gym, school, grocery store, whenever you just want to throw a lip on and you don't want to have to think about it. This is the color you'll probably go to because plums work really well on everyone because it has a rosy tone so it's really great in any skin tone range so penelope plum will be another go-to so when it comes to these three what are my thoughts would i buy them again the pro is they're just beautiful all the way around and for the luxury uh price tag i like them better than some that are a little more expensive i love the design i love the color i love the texture i'm very 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 happy with these and i would buy all three again in fact i'm looking forward to building my color uh story in the gucci lipsticks because I'm very happy and I'm excited to see what other ones they come out with because so far not only have I been really impressed with the like the visual design for the packaging but also the most important is that I've been really happy with the formulations that are inside that beautiful case that they do all right my friends I hope you guys are well please take care of yourselves take care of each other and I will see you in the next video lots of love and here we go for how to create this look tutorial coming right now.